Lesson 10. What is a common denominator for two-fifths and three-fourths? Think about it. Class, 20. Why 20? The student leader can call on someone. You can call on someone. We know that they don't have common factors, so we can either do the lowest common multiple of both 5 and 4, or in this case, that is the same as multiplying 5 times 4 because their only common factor is 1. If our common denominator is 20, what would I have to multiply 2 fifths by in order to get a denominator of 20? Think about it. Class, 4 fourths. If I multiply by 4 fourths, which is the same as 1 whole, what will be my equivalent fraction? Class, 8 twentieths. Boys and girls, what is the equivalent fraction for 3 fourths? Think about it. If my denominator has to end in 20 what will I multiply 3 fourths by in order to get an equivalent fraction? Think about it. Class, 5 fifths. If 5 fifths is the same as 1 whole, the equivalent fraction is going to be class 15 twentieths. Boys and girls, why did we use 4 fifths and 5 fifths? And this is again where we can have some math talk, the conversation. Um, this is abnormal for quick practice. Typically, it's not call on one student or defend or reason. It really is about creating automaticity. So these first steps are going to be about creating automaticity. These second questions are about creating that deeper reasoning. So this would be a great opportunity to do a very quick turn and talk. Why did we choose these numbers? Have students defend it to each other, call on one person, move to the next. So we know that we can multiply by 4 fourths because 5 times 4 equals 20, and we need a number here that is going to help us create an equivalent fraction. And we know that if we multiply by 1, that really is the same. So we can say that 2 fifths times 1 whole is the same as 2 fifths. In this case, we're multiplying to get a different equivalent fraction that is the same as 2 fifths. Boys and girls, let's compare. Read it with me. 8 twentieths compared to 15 twentieths. Think about it. Class, less than, and we would re reveal the answer. Boys and girls, find the sum. There we go. Read it with me. 8 twentieths plus 15 twentieths. Think about it. Class, 23rd twentieths. Boys and girls, find the difference. Read it with me. 15 twentieths subtract 8 twentieths equals class 7 twentieths. Find the product. Boys and girls, read it with me. 2 fifths times 3 fourths. Think about it. Class, they say the answer. We move this. 2, to, um, two fifths times 3 fourths would equal class. 6 twentieths. So this equation sets them up for the math they're going to do. So we might change that question actually to find the product is 2 fifths times 3 fourths. Class, what's our new equation? 2, third, or two times 3 over 5 times 4. You could decide how you want to say that, um, but this visual you would show them so that now they can come up with that product. So we don't move the cover, though, until students have given the answer, and then we'll check it that way. Because again, this part is about creating fluency.